The Association of South Asian Real Estate Professionals, ASARP, gathered on February 9th in Des Plaines, Illinois, bringing together 50 professionals from various sectors. Among the attendees were notable figures like Tarun Bhatia, past president of NAR India, Tim Ryan, president of Main Street Organization of Realtors, and John Gormley, CEO, alongside representatives from DLF Property Developers of India. Pradeep B. Shukla, chairman, provided insights into recent tax legislation, urging members to stay informed about provisions under TCJ, Tax Cut and Jobs Act 2017. Harsha Shukla addressed legal updates affecting the industry. Highlighting the event was a presentation by Tarun Bhatia on India's robust economic growth and the opportunities it presents for foreign investors. The DLF team, including Pankaj Sharma and Neha Dhal, showcased their projects and elucidated the nuances of real estate investment in India. First and foremost, again, thank you for being part of ASARP. ASARP is Association of South Asian Real Estate Professionals. Um, we, of course, again, are honored to host our guest from India, Tarun, um, Mr. Tarun Bhatia, who is also the past president of NAR India. We have a wonderful group of developers who are also from India. And please, if you guys know people who want to buy in India, they are there, they're here. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, I will, um, I have been associated with uh, ASARP since quite a few years now. I've been the president. Uh, welcome our guest from India. And uh, this year normally is the time when we do updates on uh, professional uh, taxation and other issues. But since we have guests from India and we want to spend more time with them, I'll be very brief on this amendments, which I can just uh, go through uh, very quickly. One is there is no change in the standard deduction, which is uh, for single individual tax returns. Another is through 2025, property deduction is subject to state and local deduction. Third, ECGA has limited mortgage debt limit up to 750,000. And if your mortgage is more than that, you don't get standard deduction on that. Home equity debt up to 100,000. That is uh, all the interest on that is fully deductible, even if uh, the equity is used for any other purpose. I mean, you don't need to spend for home improvement. Then there is rental income inclusion. I mean, if you rent out part of your home for less than 15 days a year, you don't have to pay tax on that. Another is if you sell your home at a loss and the part of home is rented out for business, you can always claim loss deduction from the business to that up. I wanted to share some of Tim's vision, which is really, I think, instrumental in propelling our organization forward and hopefully will be beneficial in your real estate careers as well. Um, I have this as ASARP's mission, President Tim, I think it might be slightly incorrect because Sharon recited the mission. I think this is more of the purpose of ASARP and it's very, very close to the mission of Main Street. And Main Street's mission is to empower real estate professionals to thrive and find joy in their careers. Yes, joy is part of the mission there, right President Tim? Yeah, when we, when we embarked on our strategic plan for this year, the year of my presidency, um, I, I sat down with John and I said, you know, I think uh, this is an important part, this is an important time in the real estate industry, of course, for our, especially our buyer's agents to be able to articulate their value to their client, especially in light of the fact that we're now all hopefully using buyer's agreements. And uh, to understand how that buyer agreement works, but I also said, well, you know, this is a great time for um, our members to understand their why and how to articulate their value. But I thought it was also important to articulate Main Street's value to our members at that same time. Um, we are having some momentous, uh, you know, things going on in our industry. And uh, we need to kind of figure out how all those things are going to come together. And then when we sat down and we sequestered all of our Board, our board of director members and uh, our key staff members for a few days to sit down and figure out exactly what Main Street's brand promise is. So Thank you, Pradeep, for the very kind words. Uh, good evening, uh, everyone. 
It's such a pleasure to be here uh, and uh, such insightful uh, learning for us also from India because the Indian law, Indian laws are still laxing in terms of uh, the real estate development which are happening in the US. So thank you very much for having us here. Uh, my name is Tarun Bhatia. I've been a realtor since the last 32 years in India, primarily in Delhi NCR. I'm the past president of NAR India and uh, <clears throat> uh, a past uh, former director at NAR US as well. So today we are here to talk about the Indian real estate sector. Uh, I'd like to welcome the DLF team uh, who have joined us from India. We have Tapan, we have Neha, we have Pradhas and we have Pankaj. DLF is the leading developer uh, from India with a very, very good legacy of about 75 years plus and they have uh, delivered some astounding uh, projects in uh, India. I think some of you have been witness tonight when you came down to India in 2016 and 19 and we look forward to hosting you all again in uh, Goa this year. Those who are coming down to uh, Delhi uh, in this month, some of the others from Florida, some from California are coming in. We'll be again showing them some DLF properties. So. Uh, you're, all of you are welcome to come to India. So as the French name of DLF, uh, DLF is like Delhi Land and Finance uh, Limited. So when we, as I said, we started from Delhi. So this is all all over India now. So we are very proud to be part of DLF. Um, I take care of uh, Delhi market. I head Delhi. Uh, I'm the senior vice president here. That's my colleague Sapan. He heads the commercial uh, business. In case anyone wants to invest in commercial real estate, always welcome. Like for ventures and anything, yes. residential and commercial, I take your residential. Then my colleague Siddharth Tat, he takes it all down. And then Neha also assists uh, Sapan and Siddharth for residential and commercial building. So that's the team of DLF. We host the uh, uh, India Great Property Show. I mean, you must have seen some ads somewhere. So that's how we keep separating that, which are keep traveling all the world. Our part is US, so we keep coming to US. And then our uh, other colleagues which travel to Singapore, to Dubai, to uh, all these areas, also up in China. So we are around here at the moment after this also, yeah. in case we have any questions, we can take one-on-one. -on -one. As uh, Pankaj mentioned, we are at uh, Renaissance Convention Center for the next two days, and even on Monday and Tuesday we are here. Anyone wants to come, you are more than welcome. Get your clients. You want to come to understand more, please. We are there from 10 to 6, I guess. But even beyond those hours, in case someone wants to come, you are more than welcome. And uh, thank you for having us here. Thank you, Esa. Thank you, Pradeepji. Thank you, Shirin, for all that you've done for us on such a short notice. I think I reached out only a couple of weeks back, and we have such a great audience. Thank you very, very much for you know uh, going through our presentation and for this Q and A. It also helped us to uh, you know have an FAQ in place. So next time we come, we'll have an FAQ which we can share with everyone. So thank you very much. Enjoy the evening, and we're all here to answer your questions. Thank you. Thank you, Karan. Thank you. Thank you so much for attending and giving us such an uh, informative uh, session. And we really appreciate you guys being here. Please do welcome. Uh, you're welcome. You know, we're going to start food soon. Before that, I think my dear friend Marsha wants to. Marsha. I'm sorry, you weren't sure how many people were coming? <laughs> so no, no hearts for you.